Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So if you're a newbie, welcome. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. And my name is Ashley and I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. So we are doing a we, yeah, because we're here together, I guess, you know, and I can't talk, but we're, we're here. And so I am doing a Will I Buy It video today. When was the last time I done a Will I Buy It? It's been a minute and the makeup releases, whoo, they are picking up. I mean, it's been a minute, you know, COVID has kind of slowed down a lot of things, but whoo. August is rolling in hot and heavy, especially this upcoming week. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about some new makeup and let's try not to buy all the makeup because, you know, we have to be adults and we can't spend all our money on makeup. And I don't advocate that because, you know, we need to have a budget or some type of something. You guys know what I mean. So <laughs> thank you to everybody who's commented on my braids. I really appreciate it. I love them. If you live in the Chicago area, I actually go to Amen Hair Braiding. I see a young lady by the name of Bella. She's fabulous. And these are actually single these twists and the hair is included. They have it there. And I think I only have about a week and a half, maybe three weeks I can have the braids. My hair is so fine. If you guys did not know, it is so soft, so curly, fine and... Yeah, if I keep them any longer than that, I won't have any hair. Plus, look at all the new growth I have. So, but thank you for all the wonderful compliments. I'll be sad to see them go. And then sometimes I like to have them still because I'm like, oh, I get to feel my scalp. Like, or it's not nothing extra hanging off of my hair. because so I can feel my scalp. But, you know, just waking up and rolling and just putting your hair in a ponytail or not trying to do the wash and go thing, you know. It saves wonders of time. So just so you know, I am going to be reading off of Trend Move 1 and other key Instagram uh, accounts. So I will link those down below so they should definitely get credit for where this information is coming from. But let's go ahead and jump in with Mr. Patrick Starr. So big ups to him because he has created his own brand and it's definitely a big deal because he's going into Sephora like right off the bat. Like that's where your brand is launching. Like that's dope. Like you cannot knock that. So he has an eyeshadow palette out and I, let me back up. The brand is called One Size. So I think it's basically promoting just everything, uh, diversity, inclusion, um, Basically, everything is meant for everybody. That's what I'm interpreting his brand to be. And he has the Visionary Collection, which is an eyeshadow palette. It's priced at $42. And I don't really feel like that's a bad price point. But I look at the palette. It looks very Patrick Starr to me. You know, he does a lot of neutrals. This palette kind of reminds me of the makeup by Mario Palette by Anastasia. And I know that Patrick loved that palette. And then there's another picture floating around and oh my God, when they remove like that green shade and then the green matte, the palette totally looked like the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. And I was like, yep, that's there. <laughs> that's it right there. And I did used to own that palette back in my pre YouTube days. So I don't know if I'm going to pick up this palette. I'm going to definitely keep my eye out for whatever he has coming out because Patrick Starr, he is so creative. And I do feel like this collection looks really upon the alley. And if I like see it in store, well, you can't touch anything in the stores. Have you guys been in a Sephora or Ulta since they've reopened due to COVID? Like you can't touch anything. Like I literally just walk around the store with like, literally <laughs> I went in there, I'm gonna get up and I was just like, let me just walk like this basically <laughs> because um, you don't wanna be tempted to touch anything and you're just so used to going in and swatching the products. And at Sephora, if I'm remembering correctly, like the products are still out and they're not covered. But at Ulta, the products were covered so you definitely couldn't touch it if you touch anything you're touching plastic because everything was like saran wrap but at Sephora it's just like it's open but you can't touch it but then if you want to see something you have to ask a sales rep but that doesn't really work because if you're swatching it on their skin complexion and I'm this complexion and I want to see on my y'all get what I mean so um <laughs> I, if I wander in there 
and I see and it looks interesting maybe I'll pick it up but he is coming out basically with an eyeliner the eyeshadow palette and then he is also coming out with some glitter high impact uh, eyeshadows that are liquid eyeshadows they're called eye poppers and those are $22 a piece and then um, this collection is basically is launched it came into Sephora on July 30th so let's talk about Mr. Wayne Goss. So Wayne Goss has come out with some more items to his uh, makeup line and it is an eyeshadow palette and it's called the Imperial Topaz Eyeshadow Palette and you can pick this up at Beautylish um, and it's actually available now and it came out July 30th. So I think that this is really nice. It looks like Wayne Goss's aesthetic, you know, very sophisticated. I think the palette colors look really nice. Once you look at it in the palette, it's just like, eh, okay, but when you see the swatches, they're very pretty. I really love how they like that red, orange, brown matte. But I actually just picked up the Minted Cosmetics Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. It's actually what I have on my face now. My whole look is by Minted Cosmetics, so that video will probably be up after this one. But it's just, um, that's what it reminds me of, and I don't feel like I need another one because this is not something that I would normally gravitate to every, you know, even though this called an everyday palette. I try to rotate my palettes and I'm not just in a brown neutral phase uh, every day. But I do think that the palette looks really, really nice. And like I said, it is already available. So I'm not going to pick it up. And the palette does retail for $55. And I do find that pretty expensive for like a six pin palette that I'm not so much interested in even though a Pat McGrath palette does cost $65 at six pants. But you know me and Pat, you know, that that's my home girl, you know. But um they're also giving up uh he also he also has three coal eye pencils that go along with this collection. So overall I feel like it's beautiful and it's gonna cater to a lot of different complexions by it just being a solo palette, but overall it, I think I can go ahead and pass on this one. Okay, so let's talk about something that I'm definitely picking up. And it actually comes out on August 14th. So that is this coming week. And this is the Juicy Boost Collection by Colored Rain. And I feel like this is just absolutely beautiful. Now, I would say that I love color, but I might not wear all these bright colors at once. Or I'll find a way to incorporate it in the look. But I find that Colored Rain um, releases are very special. I've talked about that so many times on my channel because she doesn't release a lot. You know, once this kind of release is kind of gone forever, I know a lot of people were super salty <laughs> that they didn't get their hands on Safari Rain. And luckily, because Jackie Ina did a video like basically why y'all didn't pick this up before you know it went out a uh, stock like that palette was able to come back because such of the high demand but usually her stuff she doesn't release a lot so when she does release something I do like to pick it up now I do have the power pigments and these are different from the power pigments but um I'm really enjoying what the color schemes of this look of this palette and so this palette is actually a $52 palette which is basically along the lines of colored rain their brand is a little bit more highly priced but the pigments in the shadows I just know from like their brand like it's so top quality it's one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas and she's actually coming out with this in two different package sizes so she is doing a flat lay palette like how you would normally have and then she's also kind of doing a book of shadows one so at first I thought I wanted like the book of shadow ones but I think I want the flat lay palette version and I want the flat lay palette version because when you look at it at a flat lay you can definitely see three distinct color schemes with this palette versus in the book of shadows it's like part of this color scheme is on this page and the next part is on the other page and it will also help me show you guys also when using the palette. So like I said, this comes out August 14th. I do plan on picking this up. And it has three um, shimmers in it and the rest are matte. So I think it's really, really fun. Then she's coming out with an umbrella, which is really cute. But I'm terrible with keeping up with umbrellas. So I'm not going to buy the umbrella for $22. I almost lost the umbrella that I bought at work um, at the doctor's office. So yeah. And that was like $10. So we're not going to do that. And then I do want the tumbler. I love a tumbler. Let me tell you, I love my tumblers. So I do want to pick up this tumbler. I always put my iced coffee that I make at home when I'm going to work in my tumbler. So I definitely want a tumbler. And that retails for $7. So I hope it's dishwasher safe. Because, 
Oh, it'd be hard sometimes. <laughs> so that is colored rain. So I'm definitely picking that up. So let's talk about Miss Stacy Marie. She and Be Perfect are coming out with round three. This is the Carnival palette number three. <laughs> and it is big and it is colorful. And I think it's actually really, really pretty. But I'm going to pass on it right now because I feel like I'm picking up the Juicy Boost and there's just so many colorful palettes coming out. And I just know myself, at the end of the day, I'm only going to use so much. So this is how I'm trying to edit myself. You see that? So even though these shades look so fun, like you have the green roll that is bomb. You got the orangey brown roll. You got the orangey red pink roll. And then that blue shade in the middle, I don't, that is really really pretty it might be like a blue purple it might be a duochrome and then the last two rows it's really pretty also and the swatches look amazing so i've actually never tried be perfect but everybody loves the carnival one and the carnival two i would have to imagine for it to be a carnival three and i know like karen harris is really talking about picking this up but uh, i think that the collection looks really really cute i really love the packaging it, that black and white with a pop of color that that's really a alley so I don't know, like, I, I could kind of put this on a wish list, but I think I'm going to pass. The uh, palette retails for $49.95, and it is actually coming out. So it says this palette is coming out in August, so we shall see. I think it's super cute, though. It's Anastasia Beverly Hill. She is coming out with new lip products, and I really want to say, like, these lip products look kind of cute. They're called the Lip Stain. And it looks like it's about six shades. And I'm actually really here for the color schemes. Like that rosewood color is really pretty to me. Dusty rose. I want to say rosewood is a color that she has like maybe in her regular lipsticks. If I'm not mistaken in that black cherry color, I'm really here for. So these will be coming out. Let's see. It says it's a new lipstick formula. Very lightweight. It's supposed to be pigmented. And you can add it to your lips and it's going to dry completely. And you can also use it to create the blotted lip look. And it's going to have six shades. She's also coming out with a brow pen that's going to be like easy for you to like do those little strokes with. And this is going to be available uh, August 10th. And it's $22, let's see, for the lipsticks. So it looks like these are going to be $22. They look pretty, but uh, the formula is a little nervous to me. I don't know, because it says it's supposed to be lightweight, drying, but not crusty looking. But I feel like the colors are really pretty. The only thing is, like, lipstick is really not a thing. Because if you're wearing your mask every day when you go outside, I'm not sure how you really have a lipstick. Even though, like, maybe on your Zoom calls, if you work from home. Like, that's the thing. I go outside to work every day, as I talked to you guys about before. And so, lipstick, this is, this is, this is me wearing lipstick. Even though I just bought those Purple Beauty lipsticks. But, you know, they're a new brand. So, I need to try them. And they're beautiful. You should, you should get them. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm not going to pick this up because, like... I just don't need to add a bunch more of lipsticks to my collection. And I picked up the Juvia's Place lipsticks also. And they just arrived due to slow shipping through United States Parcel Service. But, yeah, so lipstick is just not a necessity for me right now. It's it's really sad, okay? Too Faced Cosmetics. So, I'm not sure how we really feel about Too Faced. You know, they can do some kind of shady things. So, we're just going to leave it at that. I'm not sure what the climate is on Too Faced right now, but they're coming out with a pumpkin spice palette, okay? So, um, I don't know. They're getting ready for fall. I'm sure the palette's probably going to be around $42. That's what usually these palettes retail for. So, it's going to be coming out in August. It says it's actually going to be available at Home Shopping Network, which is probably true. You know, Too Faced does usually come out to them. So, it kind of looks like the same run of the mill. They haven't even really given a good picture of it, but the little picture in the corner, if you look at that little, those little six shades, I'm like, that looks cute, but nothing that we haven't seen before from Too Faced. So we shall see what this palette looks like. 
All right, so ColourPop, you know, they're they're starting to get on the roll again. So we had the Desert Collection, what was it, last week or the week before last? And now we have the Garden Variety. Now, I actually think that the Garden Variety palette is very, very pretty. The packaging to me is bomb. I'm feeling the color scheme. And this palette actually looks like it caters to deeper skin just a little bit more than the Desert one does, especially that bottom row of mattes. But I think this retails for about $22 and that this did release on August 6th. I'll put the information down below in the description box. But I'm not going to pick this up because I need to exercise self-control. And I'm like, I don't need everything. So this is me editing myself. And then they also came out with four press powder brushes. Blushes. I can't speak. And then they came out with four lip uh, Lux oils. I have never tried the oils before. Have you guys tried it? And then they also came up with jelly much shadows and a body glow oil. And then they also have some velour scrunchies. The scrunchies look cute, but I wouldn't wear them. But the palette is actually really, really pretty. And I kind of feel like it kind of just goes with the the scheme of everything like people have been at home I know a lot of people have been gardening lately like they've been telling me like oh I've been going to Home Depot I see my friends gardening because they're at home so they're like I got time so I think that the collection is really really pretty and kind of on par with what's going on right now well, Miss Alicia Keys she is coming out with a lifestyle brand with Elf Cosmetics so she said that it's going to be a beauty brand but I guess it's going to focus more on skincare which I will that actually makes more sense to me because you know like three or four years ago Alicia Keys was like I'm not wearing makeup anymore like I, I just can't be bothered so um at first it kind of seemed like she was shaming makeup but then she was just like you know I just don't want to be bothered and you know to each his own so I think it makes more sense that she's coming out with skincare since you you know you make this whole big to do about you not wearing makeup even when you perform so um it would be kind of interesting to see what this is um and I think it's kind of smart that she did it with elf cosmetics uh she didn't need to come out with her brand by herself and I do like that you know, Elf is very affordable. So a lot of people will be able to get their hands on it and feel comfortable spending their money, especially because it's backed by a big brand. So it'll be interesting to see what comes with this brand and it says it's going to be out kind of like in 2021. Now, this is something that I did pick up and I'm super excited. So big ups to Mel Thompson for creating a palette with Sydney Grace. So I don't know why when I saw it, I was just like, I just was not expecting Sydney Grace. I don't know who I was expecting the palette to be, but when she revealed that it was with Sydney Grace, it made so much sense. So she has talked about Sydney Grace forever on her channel, back even when they were Feather River Body. And that's when, actually when I discovered the brand. They were Feather River Body. That's a mouthful. So, but she came out with this palette called the Tiny Marvels Palette. And I just think that it is so cute and so pretty. And if you have not tried Sydney Grace's brand, they have amazing quality shadows. Like they are up there with color range. So I am definitely looking forward to receiving this in the mail. And I will be doing some looks whenever I receive it. I keep talking about how slow shipping has been. Like literally things have been coming to my city and sitting at the hub, at the post office hub for like 15 days. So hopefully I don't receive this palette in September. But I did purchase this palette. This palette retailed for uh, $52. And it's actually on par. It's more expensive. In, uh, Sydney Grace is definitely a little bit more expensive to make. But they're a great quality brand. And that is basically on par with all their palettes. And in their first palette that they put out. Not their first palette. But the palette that they put out in January and during Love. is one of my favorite favorite palettes of 2020. So I'm super excited to uh, get this palette and congratulations to you Mel for you know making such a beautiful quality product. And then Ace Beauté said well wait a minute we're gonna slide on through too and they have this nostalgia palette and it's 15 shades and it actually has all matte shades and there's only three uh, shimmer shades in it and that's actually kind of on par for Ace Beauté to not always have a bunch of shimmer shades, especially like in the Flare palette, I think it's only about three shimmer shades. Now the Oceanic palette has several shimmer shades, but I feel like this palette is so beautiful. And 
I see little quads in there that are going to be cute to use, but I feel like I'm just going to hold off because like I said, I've been getting the Juicy Boost palette. I've been waiting for that to come out. So I'm just like, okay, I got to hold on on my coins. So I can't buy everything. This is actually already available. It came out August 7th. Like it literally was like Wednesday and we're coming out Friday. <laughs> it was like, all right. Okay. So the Nostalgia palette retails for $38.99. So like I said, I've done with Ace Beauté before and I feel like that's a really good price point. I know a lot of people have like concerns about their quality of the palettes, but the 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 bundle, that bundle was not good. But the, if it's anything like the Oceanic palette, the formula is going to be great. So I'm going to kind of put that on my wish list. But I'm going to kind of put that on my wish list, but that is something that I'm kind of eyeing. So Juvia's Place is actually adding to their mini palette collection. So they have three more palettes to add on to their six pan palettes. And they are doing the mauves, they're doing the pinks, and they're doing the taupes. And these are available now because, you know, sometimes Juvia's Place just is like, and right now, they're available. So basically, that's what happened. And we don't even have swatches of these palettes yet, and they're available. But I really like the taupe palette. Uh, the mauves is pretty, but I don't need any more mauves. And I'm probably about to contradict myself in just a moment, and you'll see why. But I don't really feel like the next thing I'm going to talk about is mauve. But um, I don't need any more mauves. And uh, I have the Berries palette by Juvia's Place. So I picked up the berries and the lavenders or the lilacs before. And so I feel like that's pink enough. And so I don't need the pink ones. And, you know, these are super affordable. The $14, there's so many discount codes that you can get with Juvia's Place to get 10% off. And then, you know, they run a sale. So I do want to order the taupe palette. But literally tell me, like, I am scarred because they use DHL, which was cool great but dhl e-commerce that has to turn it over to the post office and like i said before package was stuck at the hub for 16 days so i literally just got the juvia's place lipsticks in stock i mean literally just got not in stock but i literally just got them in the mail two days ago and today is august 9th i ordered them the very night they came out and i'm just now getting my package due to the post office so yeah, I'm like, I, I want to order this, but I'm just going to hold off and wait because I know, like, I'll be able to pick it up. And if it goes out of stock, like, this is something that will definitely come back. And I don't want to just order from one thing, but I could pick up another lipstick by them. But yeah, so we're just going to wait <laughs> and make it worth my while if I order so I can order a couple things. But I think the palettes are really cute. And I think it's smart. You know, like the mini palettes are definitely something that is in right now. And then Sigma Beauty is also coming out with a palette. And this kind of looks like maybe like might be a fall collection. But this palette is really cute. It is coming out August 11th. And it doesn't say how much it's going to be. So basically the price range of like their Enchanted palette and a quarter Rosa palette. Those palettes I want to say are between like $40 and $50 something. $40, $50. So the palette would probably be around this uh, type, but I really am digging that color scheme. I like the greens in there. I like that pop of blue. I like the pop of red. I I'm here for it. It looks very fall. I'm here for it. No swatches have been released yet, so if I find some swatches while I'm editing, I'll be sure to pop those in. But I really feel like this is really, really pretty, and I definitely have my eye on it. I don't think I'm picking it up next week because, <laughs> like I said, I gotta get my color rain. And my, but this is something definitely on my list that I do want to pick up in the very near future. All right, so let's talk about some super bougie makeup, but I think it's really kind of cute. And I'm talking about YSL Beauty. So they have these palette clutches <laughs> that look really, really cute, but they retail for a hundred and ten dollars. I have never tried YSL Beauty, so I don't know if these shadows qualities are good. I don't know if it's anything to be like rave about or just like, yes, I need to pick it up. But I do know that that packaging is super cute and it kind of reminds me of my YSL purse. <laughs> and I think it would look really pretty sitting on my vanity, even though. Oh, it's so junky. I need to figure out how to um, organize my things once again. But I think it's really, really pretty. 
and but I'm not gonna pick it up. It's available at Suffragettes. So Suffragettes is kind of like I equate it to Nordstrom's here, but they're in London, and they have bomb shipping. So if you're wondering about ordering things from there, shipping has been great. But I haven't ordered anything since COVID has been going on. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Mother Pat. You know, I am not going to lie. I was sitting here and I was talking about this palette. It is called Rose Decadence. It is a six pan palette that is going to be released August 12th for $65 because you know Mother Pat. <laughs> and I was able actually to see a leaked picture of the palette. And I was sitting there, Karen had a live, and we were just like, eh. And then I was just kind of talking to some of my friends that uh, follow me here. And we were kind of doing this. And I was just like, you know, I'm over Mother Pat doing pink. So just talking crap about it. But then I look at it, and I'm like, it's so pretty. I want it. So I do not know if this is coming to Sephora. Right now, this is saying it's a limited edition. But baby, when you look at these swatches, I'm like, yes. Oh my God, I'm so here for it. It's so beautiful. So she's coming out with the six pan palette. These are all new shades. And then she's coming out with six shades for $36 that are the um, Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine. So it's six shades and they're $36 each. Let me make that clear. Not six for 36. We wish, but, but no. And then that is supposed to be a new formula to her brand. And it's a high shine lipstick with a mirrorless reflection and a glossiest gloss in a bomb. Did she say a glossiest gloss? She did. So, like I said, lipsticks are like so obsolete, but I'm like, I want one. But I, honestly, I think I'm going to pick up the palette. And you know, she always had sales like on lip products or anything like that. So technically you can't wait. And then she's coming out with a lip fetish sheer color that's $36. And that is like the original bomb. And then she's also coming out with 10 new shades of her lip liners, which is like great. But so far we haven't seen any pictures of all the colors of the lip liners. And those are $28 each. So I definitely feel like if you want stuff from this launch, grab the palette. And then you can go back and grab lipsticks and lip liners. I feel like her lip liners are amazing. I can't tell you about this formula because obviously it's a new formula. But she always has sales on her products. Um, so we have learned that from history. The palette might be on sale. But I don't want to risk that. I want to just get the palette, okay? <laughs> so um, like I said, this uh, launches at August 12th, 7 a.m., Pacific Standard Time. I'm not exactly sure if that is all the way true because, well, no, that is true because that would make it 9 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. And usually, yes, it does launch, stuff does usually launch 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which would make it my time 8 Central. So, um, like I said, a string blue has it, like hashtag Sephora. I don't know if that's true. I've been kind of checking the Sephora website to see because, you know, sometimes they'll post the new stuff and say it's coming soon once it's been announced, but that hasn't happened yet. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm really over the pink stuff from her. I, I love this and I'm going to pick it up, but Divine Rose 2 is my jam. Like, I have been using it a couple times every week, rotating my palettes. I'm still using Divine Rose 2. I love it. It is definitely, like, in the top five for me as far as all of my Pat McGrath palettes. Like, it's just so beautiful, so wearable, just so, like, multi-purpose for me. But I am ready for some, like, blue and greens from Mother Pat. Like, please, like, girl, give me an inspiration of some waves and some ocean and some mythical creatures. I know you can do it. So <laughs> that is what I'm really ready to see from Mother Pat. So with that being said, I will be picking up the palette and we'll see about the other lip products. So then let's just wrap this video up. Basically, Sephora is saying welcome back to their stores. They're going to have an event from Friday, August 14th through the August 20th third basically saying it's a welcome back and it does say you can use this online basically saying most of our stores are open come and feel free to shop so you can get twenty dollars off a hundred dollars or fifteen off of seventy five it doesn't say like if you have to be rouge or anything like that to qualify it looks like you just benefit from that and then they are doing um one daily winner 
for uh, at every open store for basically a hundred dollar gift card, which is cool. Um, like I said, the experience with shopping <laughs> since it's been open with the COVID, like you can't touch anything. So for me, like if I want to go in the store and see something, it kind of takes the fun out of it because it's basically like the equivalent of me almost ordering something online. It verse, you know, you can see better, of course, in store versus online, but it's not the same. You can't swatch anything. I never put anything on my face. Like, yeah, <laughs> anyway, I will put anything basically on my hand, including lipsticks. But, um, yeah, like, you know, certain eyeshadows and certain products that you just thought you wanted to buy and you were so excited about it, you go in the store and swatch and you like, no, thanks. Pass next. So it just kind of takes the fun out of going out of the store for me. So like I said, I just walk around. I walked around with my hands on my back. So they are going to be doing this. And from what I've heard, um, also, I was in the store. Like, I've only been in the store once. I'm making it sound like I've been in the store a bunch of times. Once. Okay. So um, they are giving like 10% to essential workers. I don't know if that is still going on. But is it healthcare? No. Yes, it's healthcare actually. So not essential workers. You are still essential if you're not in healthcare. But they're giving 10% to healthcare workers. So it's not online and it's just in store and you just have to like show your badge or like a pay stub or like an ID or whatever you have. And I overheard somebody else saying it and then I asked about it and they were like, oh yeah, sure. Because I told them I was a pharmacist. But the only thing is they're not doing it online and the product I wanted that I went in the store to get, they didn't even have my shade. It, it was the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I was thinking about purchasing that at the moment. And then, so I couldn't even get the discount online. So that's that. So just know if you're in a store and you're a healthcare worker, ask about the 10% discount because, you know, every little thing helps. So I hope you guys have found this helpful. It's kind of been fun talking about all the new releases. Oh my God, it's so much coming out that it's kind of like summer. And then we still have fall, and I wonder what the Christmas releases are going to be like this year. It's kind of interesting to see, you know, with everything that's going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun talking to you guys about the new makeup releases. Let me know down below what you think you might pick up or what you know you're going to pick up. And give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here, my little makeup family. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time. For the chat dance, a chat dance, a bye.